Boo. <laughs> this year, make no bones about it. I'm lighting up Dia de los Muertos with luminescent or light emitting makeup. Unlike your typical incandescent bulb, luminescence is light emitted without heat. And if you're feeling particularly festive this time of year, you can even buy it in your makeup. So what's luminescent makeup and what's the science behind how it works? Find out more coming up next. Today we're gonna to talk about two kinds of luminescent makeup. Glow in the dark, like spirit brands, cream makeup, and UV reactive makeup products like Cryolens Aqua Color Day Glow Palette. For any material to give off a glow, they need two things. Phosphors, which are substances that absorb and re-emit light, and UV light, which is invisible until it's absorbed and re-emitted at a lower visible wavelength. This makes the material seem unnaturally bright. Now, despite all the YouTube makeup tutorials you've seen, the FDA has only approved these ingredients for the body, not the eyes. Both glow-in-the-dark and UV reactive products will emit a glow, but they're not exactly the same. Choose the wrong product, and it could leave you and your awesome costume in the dark. Luminescent makeup can be broken down into fluorescence and phosphorescence. Fluorescence requires a continuous UV light source, like a black light, and phosphorescence can be charged for a short time, but will glow dimly for minutes or hours after the light source is gone. So what's the difference between the two? It involves diving into subatomic particles, and for that I've quantum tunneled friend and photochemist Steve McGuire all the way from Canada to help explain. Take it away, Steve. So what's happening here is that light, in the form of photons, is being absorbed by these materials and exciting an electron to a higher energy state. That's not that stable, and the electron wants to come back down and release that energy in the form of another photon. Now the difference between fluorescence and phosphorescence is simply one of time scale. In fluorescence, the electron goes up and comes straight back down again. In phosphorescence, it can get stuck, and it has to reorient itself before it can come back down. Thanks, Steve. Now you can tell all your friends you spend part of your day brushing up on a little quantum mechanics. So the fluorescent makeup here is Cryolens Aqua Color UV Day Glow Palette, and you'll want to use these in a club or interior with UV lights. However, if you're planning to wear your costume outside in the dark, use phosphorescent makeup, like Spirit's Glow in the Dark makeup. Just don't forget to pause under a street lamp every once in a while to recharge your electrons. Like this video? Then show the skeleton some love by subscribing to Ms. Beautifile on YouTube. And don't forget to show your support for Science Isn't Scary. I'll see you in the afterlife. 